Building codes are always growing and changing, but not always more restrictive like you might think. This is a perfect example. Let's go on a journey. This is an old enough code to get us started. In theaters, a single flight couldn't be more than 15 risers. This is the first building code developed by code officials. And now you could have up to 17 risers, but it changed again in 1946. Now it changed to simply 12 feet maximum. But there was another organization of building officials also developing a code. This is the second edition in 1947. And there's that 12 feet again. Oh, but there was a third group of building officials writing a different code. Well, maybe not so different. There's that 12 feet again. It's pretty inconsistent during these years and in these historic codes as to how this limitation was applied to single family homes. And this is kind of evident in the fact that the very first code specifically for one and two family dwellings in 1971 has no mention of this. That 12 feet didn't show up until the 2003 edition. And here you see it, and the black bar signifying the change. But stop for a minute. Why was it 12 feet? Where did that come from? Well, if we take 144 inches divided by the common 8-inch allowable riser height, we get, ooh, now we're up to 18 allowable risers. But in developing the 2015 International Residential Code, the question was brought up, isn't the max riser height seven and three quarter inches now? So if we took seven and three quarters and we multiplied it by 19 risers, hey, that's only three inches taller than 144. That can't be that bad. And so it changed to 147 inches. Now we can get 19 rises. But in creating the 2018 IRC, we realized that floor truss systems are pretty popular and they're often 24 inches deep. And with 10 foot ceiling heights being common, builders were asking for just a little more distance. And so it was increased again to 151 inches. But that increase won't allow 20 risers at the maximum riser height. So you'd have to go with a shorter riser and decrease the slope of the stairs, thus increasing the safety. 